Right, head cover off. And we look at, for the very first time, Twist Face technology is in the hybrid from TaylorMade. So not only have they gone and introduced it into Fairway Woods, they've also stuck it into the hybrids as well. I've got in front of me now, and this one we're gonna test is an M6 hybrid. Real positive message as far as I'm concerned in terms of TaylorMade's belief in the technology that is Twist Face. So uh, for them to put it into three wood into fairways, they firmly believe in it. The message that I'm hearing is that they definitely are convinced that this is a, uh, a technology that is working. So to see it into this hybrid is another positive message. Here's some images of the hybrid itself. Draw your own conclusions on how you think it looks. It's very much classic in its teardrop looks. Uh, steel body construction, thin fast face uh, for ball speeds, overall distance, usual things for expecting to hear. Uh, low CG again, help with launch, but also um, lower CG for um, enhanced launch and performance overall performance i think it's fair to say most of the claims we have heard there are very similar that we will hear off every manufacturer and in the one major difference in this hybrid that uh, was perhaps surprise a few is this introduction of twist face technology and we need to see what impact that has on performance for the average golfer so the way this is going to work is i'm going to move from here we're going to go to four golf chester we're going to get some dry ball data and we'll give you some immediate feedback on my thoughts when I start to use this golf club. We're then going to go out onto the golf course and I'll do exactly the same. And then we'll return back here with an overall summary on what I think of the performance of the M6 Hybrid. So first and foremost, let's get over to 4Golf Chester and let's get whacking some golf balls and get you some feedback. Got all you need to know in terms of tech spec. Now we're going to have a look at some dry ball data, which I'm going to gather, and we're going to talk about that at the very end of this video. The part of this video is in four golf chest. I'm going to give you my immediate thoughts. This club at address, and also just hit a few balls while the camera's rolling, and I'll give you some immediate feedback. I'm going to be playing this straight off the deck. First thing to mention is, and it's something I can say a little bit different, is there's no carbon imprint on the back of this crown. It's this matte muted look, which again is really, really nice but I do prefer the carbon imprint. I don't know why it's been left off the hybrid. It's a bit strange, to be honest with you. They've again got the silver band, slightly narrower version, but the silver band is there uh, right behind the club at address. You see all of the club face, you see plenty of loft. Again, sits really, really nice. I think the one noticeable thing for me about all the clubs that I've looked at so far is just how they just seem to fall into position at address. They sit very, very comfortably, uh, for me at least anyway. Really like the look of it. It's classic in terms of its looks, sort of teardrop uh, looking uh, hybrid. I'm not too keen on these ones where they go sort of high on the toe end. Um, but for me, classic looking, really, really nice looking club. And again, for me, we're talking about it, it's bottom of the club, far nicer looking than that of, uh, of the M5, I think. Let's see how it performs. Unbelievable. I mean, you know, I, I said it on the previous videos because I'm hitting sort of three or four balls with each club at the moment and moving on. I just wish I was on a on a course right now because I'm obviously swinging the ball pretty decent this morning. I uh, swing the club pretty decent. I mean, these are just th these are these are quite nice and easy sort of swings. They're fairway finders. The ball is going out so nice. It's a huge change in feel that they've achieved. Um, that'll be interesting for me again because they've introduced Twist Face, don't forget, into the hybrid as well. That again was a toey strike. And for me, it's hardly moved. But again, how do you, how do you, real, how do you prove the worth of Twist Face and what would have happened to that toe strike? if it hadn't have been with this club I'm using right now. We'll never get to the bottom of that, I don't think. We'll just have to take Taylor words, uh, Taylor Maid's word for it. I know a lot of you won't. But anyway, um, yeah, once again, this sort of uh, difference in sound is the one thing, sound and feel, whichever way you term you use, really like the sound and feel from it. Performance has been really, really good on the three shots that I've hit. They've literally seriously gone down, straight down the line. It's very very impressive we're going to see what it's like with dry ball day to see if it backs it all up but this is a club that's going 200 yards it's straight perfect club for in the bag anyway 
let's see how it fares. Long par three, couple of shots in to uh, fairway from, uh, uh, into the green from the fairways. Let's get out there on the course with it and see how it performs in some real conditions. So on the course with a hybrid, a few shots in and um, pretty much the same as what I felt in the driving range. This is really a bit of a standout product for me, this hybrid. Uh, massive change from last year's models which were uh, performed well enough but there's a great deal of difference in this. For me it seems, it, it's just power packed, it flies off the club face. I've hardly a bad shot with it to be quite honest with you since both on the range and um, Andy are out on the course as well. Um, just that bit of confidence as well, just to swing nice and easy, get through the ball, and uh, the ball absolutely flies. And in terms of ball flight, it's a high ball flight, easy launch, all the things that most of us average golfers are looking for, and I think you could play this in a number of different situations, but I'm interested to see the dry ball data because I still don't know that as yet. And uh, for me, it's absolutely flying. Two balls I've just hit um, off the same tee, which you've just seen me play. Absolute, I mean, I say absolute, I mean, they're in and around the sort of 200, 205 mark, I would think, 210, um, which I suppose is where you'd expect it to be, but it just seems so easy to get there. Um, yeah, the hybrid, M6 hybrid, don't forget I've got. I'm really, really liking this at the minute. Right, the M6 hybrid from TaylorMade. What can I say? I can say this is one of, if not, the best hybrid that I have played, tested, since I've been doing this whole thing. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, you might have watched a few videos that I've done, I've uh, been fairly um, toned down about all this so far, uh, but the M6 hybrid seriously performed unbelievably well. Now then, was it just a fluke, was I just swinging, was I putting a good swing on these shots was it just all about probably i don't know but all i can report is what i found both out there on the course and dry ball data this thing performed with amazing consistency now don't forget twist faces in this hybrid from speaking to taylor made they even think that twist face could have more of an impact on the smaller headed clubs such as three wood and hybrid they've introduced it into this year than actually the drivers which is interesting because like I said I never seem to hit a bad shot with this in terms of dispersion left and right everything I seem to put on it seemed to go down the middle or not too far off now I'm not suggesting that was all in this club like I said I'm well aware there's no magic ones but what I am saying is that on the performance that I got, it was incredible. It really was incredible. The ball launched very consistently. Here's a dry ball data numbers to back up the launch. So launching at 15.3, we had one number there that dropped right out, I don't know, it was a third or fourth shot at 12.9. The rest all in around that 15 and a half to 16 launch angle. Spin on an average at 3.5, perfect spin number, nice peak height, 195 carry. Um, again very very consistent in terms of its carry distance and out there on the course was the bigger deal like I said it was a, just a club that if you ever wanted a go-to club I'd have no problem in reaching for this and uh, once again putting that nice easy swing not feeling like you've got to put any great effort into it let the club head do all the work and that ball just seems to fire on out there 
And like I said, sometimes it's just all about confidence. It's how the club sits behind them. I love the way it looks, by the way. I love the looks, I love the matte finish. They haven't for some reason put the carbon imprint on the head of this um, uh, hybrid. Uh, and I really, actually really like it. It's just this matte finish. Uh, the silver front um, top of the crown again. The loft on the club, you can see it. It's just very, very confidence inspiring. A lot of hybrids, as we know, it's easy to turn over that sort of right to left shot. Never had that problem whatsoever. I can't say much more about it other than, like I said, the testing that I did in both areas, it performed exceptionally well. It will once again go into some head to head videos and we'll see how it performs in the weeks ahead. But for the time being, first look at the M6 Hybrid is a massive thumbs up for me. It is a standout product of this whole range from TaylorMade. I never thought I'd get so excited about saying that about a hybrid, but that's how well this thing performed. It really was an absolute winner. Anyway, that is another one. Finished, testing done. Comments from you is what I'm interested in. And uh, hopefully as this video moves forward and the release date these clubs come out and you get a chance to try these clubs yourself, then come back, revisit this video and give me some more feedback from how you found when you went out and tested this club. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you soon.